Okay, to review from yesterday, uh, we've started electrochemical cells in which all reactions are spontaneous. Electrochemical cells require electrolytes, electrodes, a salt bridge, and a wire. The salt bridge allows ions to move, the wire allows electrons to move, uh, creating a complete circuit. An electrolyte is any substance that conducts a current. It is cr um, created by ions in a solution. The electrodes are the conductors for each half reaction. Uh, the um, electrodes are where each half reaction actually occurs and are usually made of similar substances as each electrolyte. Electrodes themselves, uh, there, there will be two. There will be the anode and the cathode. Uh, using our Leo the Lion goes Gerd mnemonic from before, uh, we've changed it to Leoa and Gerk. So Leoa, loss of electrons is oxidation, and oxidation always occurs at the anode. So the anode is where oxidation occurs, and the electrode that loses electrons. The cathode is the electrode where reduction can occurs. Gain of electrons is reduction at the cathode, and it is the electrode that gains electrons. Um, so, review. Uh, to continue on from our example from yesterday, we had our anode and our cathode with silver and copper, our two reactions. At the cathode, uh, it is gaining electrons, so there's our reduction. Here at the anode is our oxidation as it is losing electrons. They were joined by an ammonium nitrate salt bridge. And we have the two spontaneous reactions written here and here. Now, with these reactions, at the cathode, Ag plus plus 1e minus goes to Ag solid. And at the anode, copper solid goes to copper plus 2 plus 2 E minus. One thing we have not discussed in this entire picture is what is happening to all of the ions. So which direction are the ions moving in the solution? In the solution, on the cathode side, if we look at the um, reaction, on the cathode side we see that positive ions are being used up to create solid silver. The mass of the electrode, of the silver electrode of the cathode is increasing as these ions get used up. As they use them up, there will be a decrease in positive charge around this electrode. A decrease in positive charge uh, would then cause positive ions to move to this area by diffusion. We're going to decrease the amount of Ag plus ions, so more Ag plus ions will move from an area of high concentration to low concentration. In essence, the cathode will attract the cations. So all of the cations, such as silver and ammonium in the salt bridge, will move towards the cathode. So positive ions, cations, will move towards the cathode. Now what's happening on the anode side? We have solid copper creating copper plus 2. As more copper plus 2 is created, you will have a buildup of positive charge at the anode. The buildup of char positive charge means by diffusion, the ions will move towards um, the salt bridge. So the positive ions will move away from the anode towards the cathode, as we would expect. But the negative ions will then be attracted to this area of positive charge. So the anions will move towards the anode. The anions will move towards the anode. So with the anode, there's a buildup of positive charge. Copper plus 2 is generated. Copper plus 2 enters the salt bridge. Anions Oops. Cations move towards 
the cathode. Cathode, we have a buildup of negative charge. Uh, silver plus one is being depleted. That means the nitrate is actually going to move to enter the salt bridge uh, from the anode. The nitrate here at the cathode is going to move towards the anode, so the anions, or negatively charged ions, will move towards the anode. Anions move towards the anode. Now, uh, to more formally uh, calculate the uh, potential of the cell from what we did yesterday, we have a reduction from silver and uh, our oxidation of copper. Now, in order to determine the voltage, we have a reduction here. Uh, silver plus electrons goes to silver solid. Go to our standard reduction potentials of half cells and find that reaction. And if we're looking for that reaction, it's right here. Uh, silver uh, plus electrons goes to silver solid. That is plus uh, 0 0.8. Let's just make that a little bigger so that we can see it. Uh, so right in here, we have plus 0.8. So this reaction, 0 0.80 volts. Now the copper solid goes to copper plus 2 plus 2 electrons. Let's find that reaction. And that reaction is here. Copper plus 2 plus 2 electrons go to copper solid. That's plus 0.34. Now this reaction, however, is reversed. In this formula, the negative sign takes care of that reversal. So E naught for the cell is equal to E naught of the reduction minus E naught of the oxidation, which is equal to 0 0.80 minus 0 0.34 volts is equal to 0 0.46 volts. So this uh, particular cell with these two half reactions should have a potential energy of 0 0.46 volts overall.